All right, guys, rate my grace on a scale of one to 10. Just right now? Just, no, if I can get on this relatively easily. You're very average Joe when it comes to this kind of stuff. <gasps> oh, oh. What's going on guys? Welcome to Dope or No, nope, the channel in which we rate products Dope or No nope, or we find lint on our tongue. Or that, hair from our beards. Yeah, that's what that is. Yeah. <laughs> Today, as you can see, we're not in the Dope or Nope set. Why? We're outside. Yeah, we are. <laughs> in a controlled environment. <laughs> in a previous video titled 10 products that will let you get revenge on your frenemies, we pitched a like to dare. And the like yeah. to dare was, we said, we'll get an RV yeah. and we'll test out all of the crazy, awesome, glamour camping products. That's right, glamping, that's a thing. <laughs> People do that. <laughs> People do that. So we really want to say we appreciate you for being patient because this one actually took even more effort than we thought it would. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, to get first this whole crazy thing happening, look at how awesome and beautiful these lights are. Look at look at my face. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> the lights are great. The face? Uh, was about a five. Anyways, we're gonna be rating these products dope or nope if they're good for glamour camping. Okay. Yes. So the whole point of glamour camping, guys, is you're already camping in an RV, which is pretty glamorous, and then to take that and then make it more extreme by just making it as luxurious as possible. And if it does that job, it'll be a dope. If it doesn't, flat note. All right, so the first product is the RV that you guys totally nailed that like goal to do. Yes, so we pretty much found a website and through the website, it's a bunch of private renters who own RVs and they rent them out to the public. Oh, it's like Airbnb for RVs. RVs. So it took us a minute to find the right one. Finally, we did it. Shout out to Sean for being super helpful. Okay, so we're gonna take a look around this thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yo guys, we got a visitor up. Oh, what's up, dude? It's oh, on TV, dude. Oh, yeah. It's on TV. Oh. Come on in, bro. Let's go, check it out. We got some stainless steel sinks right here. We know how you guys love water flowing. So Look at this we sink. Got. It's a circle. <laughs> dude, as you're like chopping it up, boom, right there, a TV. So you can watch Rachel Ray, dude. What? <laughs> can, I, can we just talk about it? Like this is twice the counter space I had in my first apartment. This is twice the counter space I had in my third apartment. If you guys take a look behind you, this is the flight deck. This is where the pilot and the co-pilot sit. Generally me and my girl. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna press any buttons because I'm too scared. If I were, you know, I'm kind of just sitting like this. Check this out. You can do whatever right here, like work on a laptop. Play chess by yourself? Yeah. Yep. By yeah, myself. <laughs> yeah. um, this is our couch. This is uh, made by... Uh, it's a bed too. Lazy Boy. Yeah, and it's also a bed. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that felt good. <laughs> uh, it, it can fit about somebody who's five foot ten. Michael, so can it'll you fit me really? <laughs> yeah, can you turn this into a bed? Oh, Look, oh. it's a transformer. How many times are you gonna see transformers in your lives? All Let's right. take a look at our kitchen area right here. Got a three top stove here, so if you're cooking mac and cheese, burgers, and uh. Yeah, that's probably what you do there. Then you got a <laughs> freezer and a fridge. All right, Tanner, strip down. You got a shower time. You know, this is where the magic happens. Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> as much as anyone, everyone, I mean, no one, I, yeah, would want that. Everybody would want that. Guys, vote this pull it, no, don't. <laughs> oh, gosh. So as you look here, these updated models, they have home telephones shooting water out of them. Uh, it's pretty <laughs> sick. Uh, so you can answer calls and take showers at the same time. All right, Michael, show them where your magic happens, bro. Right here, guys. You got yourself a queen size bed. You got three cabinets up top, and then you got two that's right here in the back. Pretty deep, actually. You can fit a lot of stuff in there. I would prefer that the bed was bigger and it was just all the way up to the back. You know what I mean? Like, you don't walk around it. Like, why do you need all that space over there? Like, why do you need to be over there, Michael? I don't know. Quick comfort test. I'll give it about a six out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, would you say it's a dope? It's pretty dope, right? It's an entire house on wheels. No. Or would you say it's a mega dope? That's the one. Mega dope? That's the one! Do it! Wait! wait. <laughs> Pop it, go! Why did you guys make this weird? You made it weird because you made it look about it. Ah. Ah. <laughs> All right, next product. Next product. <laughs> wow, this is convenient. Our next product is an Intex inflatable corner sofa, 101 Dalmatians by 80 by 30 inches. So it's pretty much this thing right here. It's what we're sitting on right now. It's an inflatable couch. But can it do this? <laughs> <laughs> Just whips all three of us back. <laughs> yeah, like if you both sit, like sit back, if you both sit up now at the same time, watch me. You did that first? No, I didn't. <laughs> nice, dude. I personally have always hated the idea of air mattresses. They always sink through the night, and so you just wake up with back pains. But I kind of like this one. You know what? The best thing to do in between, though, is get like a memory foam futon. 
Those are good. They're way more comfortable at night. I don't know. This would probably take up the same amount of space as a futon. Yeah. When it's all like done. Condensed. Yeah, condensed. You're right there. My nose is ready for all the cold. <laughs> <laughs> so this actually only costs like 66 bucks. It's normally like 140. So we got a killer deal on this. Wow, that is gold, dude. It, this picture honestly looks like maybe she wasn't really invited. Can and they're like, oh, didn't know? see you there. And she's like, yeah, you did. I live here. No, this is like a guy who lives with his ex, his butt is dating another girl. <laughs> so, so she's just looking at him like, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, she's pretty great. Now, nah, Chloe was hanging out with Brenda, but then she's like, oh, sorry, Brenda, Danny wants to come over. And then just shove Brenda in the poor corner. Yeah, dude, third wheeling's pretty hard. Here's my question. Who's got French Bay doors, but can only afford- An uh, inflatable <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sorry, if you, got, if you got like those beautiful French doors, like that's like an old school, like expensive French colonial house that they're sitting in. They're right like, now. man, yeah. just got my new apartment, but I gotta wait for furniture. <laughs> so until then. <laughs> this is the same person who'd lease a Lambo instead of just buying a Civic, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as you can see, we already bought it and we're already putting it in you. So the test will come at the end of the video because if it holds itself up, then it's a dope. Oh, I see what you're saying. But if it deflates during the video, it'll be a no. And make sure you guys are paying attention to the frame. If we start going lower, then you know it's a problem. Comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> Next product. All right, this next product is a like to buy, which means we oh. have found a product that may be super expensive or it just might be super absurd. It might take a lot of prep work. Like from this the team. one. Just like this, this guy. This was a like this to buy. This guy was a buckaroo. So as we were finding these luxurious products for this glamping video, we came across the self-making bed. Oh, it's going to be tissue. Tissue. Just want to blow your nose? Wait, I don't no, blow keep going. Bed. I want to hear more about this. All right, so it's a smart duvet. So you can pretty much sleep with it and then the blanket will inflate itself and then like re-expand itself. Then you deflate it and then it just drops into place. So it makes the bed for you. And you can change the type of heating and cooling on it? Mm -hmm. Wait, can you actually cool? It's what it shows you can. So I've tested something similar to this, obviously, before. <laughs> I've tested everything, right? Yeah. <laughs> so I used to have one that would heat up your bed. It didn't make the bed, so this is definitely improvement. And it definitely didn't cool. Was it supposed to cool? No, it wasn't supposed to cool. It was just supposed to heat. But the issue was, it was like a cover that you put on your mattress. And the issue was it was plastic, right? Oh. So you put, you, you, know, you put sheets on it and stuff like that. It didn't make a difference. You sweat like crazy. It just didn't breathe. So if there's any bit of plastic in that, I'm gonna have to rate it a nope before I even sleep with it. It's not even. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you sleep with it if it was no? Nope? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so we found this product along with some other products, which we want to make a video titled "10 Products That Got Extreme Upgrades." This being one of them, people are trying to upgrade their comforters. So if you guys want to see us make this video and test out this self-making bed comforter, give this video 125k likes, and we will test out these products because they could be extreme. The upgrades could be really cool. Comment down below. Smart bed, and we will make this video happen. That's it. Roadshow portable entertainment system. Stop. You put no. Oh, Tanner. The game <laughs> oh, outside. Tanner. Or do whatever you want. Else. I watch a sports. This game. is like a system that you pack up. You put a TV, a generator. What is what is that? What is that thing right there? What is uh, that? It's like a backup generator. How it's do you get one. cable? Like just wait. Be, no. be, <laughs> just just above everything else. There's no way you can fit that. Oh, unless you put it inside the RV. I guess. Yeah. So do you see where else are you putting it? You can't even strap that to the roof. Of the <laughs> okay, so this isn't for camping though, right? This is for, it says like road show. I'm still That's confused really about how you're gonna actually watch That's TV with this. What do you mean, how are you gonna watch TV with this? What, you gonna hook up an antenna? You got a phone hotspot. Well, yeah, so what you're saying is you get a phone hotspot and a Chromecast and you used your phone hotspot to attach the Chromecast Wi-Fi to then stream to it? What? No, you can just like have a smart TV. Why are you overcomplicating things? But is your phone's Wi-Fi gonna be that reliable? Let's get real, Depends if you're on where going, you are. If you're going to use this out in public, you're most likely somewhere where I'm thinking in the woods. Yeah. Yeah, right? I mean, come on. I'm thinking in the woods, for sure. No, you're, you're not Yosemite? taking this to the woods. Yeah, yeah. for sure I am. No. no, you're not. Yeah, because the people that are going to the woods want to see the woods. No, dude, my dad would love to watch NASCAR on a Sunday in the woods. No, call, him, would up, love call him up right now. I don't <laughs> you don't so. want me to call my dad. <laughs> Add the cart. All right, here it is. This is it. So, like, oh, look at the side here. Outdoor Entertainment Center. So if you open this guy up. Oh, I thought it was going to pinch me. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely doesn't look super stable. Super shaky. Yeah, not good it, for the TV underneath. Okay, initial setup. Um, Why is it talking to me? Oh, Liz oh, is setting up. Oh, Liz is oh, setting it up. I was like, I was like who's flying through this like a magician? I was like, it truly is advanced. <laughs> it's setting itself up, dude. <laughs> I mean, it's working. It's doing its job. Now imagine this. We're outside. We're outside. There's rocks on the ground. Rocks everywhere. Neighbors with their own campers They're doing yelling. their own thing. They're ah, I'm so angry. Yeah. What do you do? Bust it out. Time, Bust to, this out. time to play some games. But more importantly, we cook up some dogs and burgers right here. We're eating, we're consuming, the kids are playing the out. games. And then you wheel this thing out and you say, here's the cherry on top. And you just play some games. This is cool. I feel like this could have been 
slimmed too. I mean, I guess down here you're supposed to have a generator, which we don't have. The idea is that a generator would go down here, then you'd just be able to wheel this whole thing anywhere. So yeah, I think that all it has a pretty good mix. Uh, I think it works pretty well. I'll say it's a dope. Dope. All right, guys, our next product <laughs> shocked even me. Okay. <laughs> it is a saluspa, also known as a saluspa. I don't know if it's supposed to be a play on words. Saluspa. Salutations. Salutations, good sir. Anyways, it's a saluspa Palm Springs air jet inflatable six person hot tub. It has air jets in it? When you hook up six different heats? hoses? And it heat? Dude, I want this. This is lit. It's an inflatable spa, pretty much. And it heat! And it has a jet pack on the back. <laughs> we can take this. Just, that's the heater. <laughs> just water. Just blast you off. <laughs> so where are you going to get all this water, Tanner? Let me tell you where I'm going to get all this water. The Dope or Nope team set this no. up offside. I mean, when you're, when, you're camping. when you're out and about and you're camping. When you're oh. glamour camping at your resort or wherever. Where we're well, park. if I was where I would be camping, which is like Duck Creek, Utah. It's filled with stream. Yeah, <gasps> stream You water. can build like one of those little systems that have pipes that just like drain it into, it yeah. It, I mean, it'd take like a week to do. All right, well, I'm sold. Can't wait to get in the jacuzzi with my boys, the Salu Spot, add the cart. All right, guys, we are going to jump to our other campsite where it is set up in three, two, we're gonna, we're gonna two, jump. one. Oh. Oh, I said I didn't want to do that. <laughs> All right, so we're here. Check it out. We got the Salu Spa. It has been up and running for three hours. Actually, the Dope Nope team came here yesterday. Uh -huh. Liz came here at 8.30 a.m. Turned it on. It is now 11.30 a.m. It's gone from 51 degrees to 63. <gasps> in three hours. That's so sad. <laughs> That's like three and a half degrees an hour. At this rate, it's gonna take 24 hours to get up to the desired temperature. And what was it marketed as to get it up to? An hour and a half right. to three hours. Oh, that's so cold. It's pretty cold too. It says the heat's on. So here's the deal. It's I'm not about free. to get in 61 degree water. No, It's not gonna happen. Not. Especially when it's 60 degrees outside. It's technically warmer. All right, guys, so it didn't heat up. <laughs> it's just a nope. It's a nope. Next product. It's a nope. All right, for this next product, we got a C3 truck white RC cooler. No, cooler. stop. With speakers? No, stop. Yeah. Little speakers. No, no, stop. I can't. It's too cool. <laughs> Please stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. So you got uh, drives and steers by remote control. Capacity is 30 cans with ice. Built-in stereo and LED headlights. This that's, might be pretty lit. That's actually really cool. So, 360 bucks. What's the use case? All right, so you're outside your beautiful motorhome. You're chilling right here on the couch friends you're like ah oh, forgot to get my drink ah. what if you forgot the remote johnny <laughs> yeah, i thought this, I thought this was what the kids are for <laughs> I the kid. out and then just boom now i think that this is really dope but i also think this is yeah, the most man. bougie thing so it might be perfect it is perfect for this video yeah it's Tanner. If you haven't caught on yet, we are bougie today. We're glamping, dude. Yeah, we're camping in these clothes. Look at us. Yeah. Look at us. We're those kids that get beat up by the real campers. Are you kidding? I'm wearing a leather jacket. I'm the kid that beats you up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's add this baby to car and bring us some drinks. You know what I'm saying? Hey, car. Stop. It Yo. came with Doper and Ope stickers? Yeah, dude, we got a custom. Look at those rims. Look at that. That's so cool. Tanner, your favorite, what you call Mexican Coke. Wow, it's really cold. Would you like a Lacroix? Oh, it is cold. Or you don't like Lacroix. Do you like Lacroix? I like Coke. All right. I like Lacroix. Coke. <laughs> I like Le Coke. Or do you like want to Gatorade? We, we, we got options. No, guys. Coke, dude. Uh, if I had my keys, I could open these first, but. That's, this is cool. This is pretty dope. Okay, let's connect it to Bluetooth. That's Michael Badal and Rose. Did you hear that feedback though? That's as loud as it goes. The speakers just suck. Dude, they're so distorted. They're bad. Like, do you hear that? But it's who like, cares? That's just Mike's mixing. Are you sure? <laughs> Wait, yeah, play a different song. Maybe that's just. Maybe it's just the talent of our crew. All right. No. It's the speaker. Yeah, it's no, for sure. No, this one is definitely Matt. He added that rasp to his voice, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No. I'll still say it's a dope. Even though the speakers aren't that great, I think it's still pretty cool. Just like a fun little toy to have. Your kids, if you have kids, they would enjoy it, like getting to drive it around. Yeah, I think it's pretty dope. Best choice products, outdoor porch hanging curved chaise lounge, chair, swing, hammock, pillow, Ooh. stand, canopy, teal. The way you said chaise, that was I awesome. I said chaise. Chaise. <laughs> chaise. Mm, like you chaise your legs? <laughs> <laughs> yes. This does go in line with the other products that we've bought so far in terms of obnoxious. Just, just the most obnoxious colors they can find. There's green and 
blue. <laughs> just so loud. Yeah. I it does look pretty comfortable. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't to me. You know, like when you're sitting in a chair that's just slouched just in the wrong way and it doesn't allow you to move it and you're just like, okay, I'm never going to get comfortable now. Like you know, the real first bullet? world problems. Yeah. <laughs> Add to cart. All right, guys. Let's even get in yourself first. Yeah, and then we'll I can you. get in myself. You don't think I can? Not without rolling. Okay. Rate my grace on a scale of one to ten. Just right now? Just, no, <laughs> when I get like on. in life <laughs> or? I was going to say about like three IRL. <laughs> three, okay, three IRL. Take that out of your head. Throw that away. Yeah, you're, you're very average Joe when it comes to this kind of stuff. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> I almost thought you were going to lose a life. I didn't think that was going to hold you. Dude, well, that hurt too. I bet. That's a grace of three, like I predicted. Three? You almost hurt. You hurt yourself. <laughs> you admitted to hurting yourself, and this thing almost flopped in half. It did almost flop in half, dude. <laughs> Can we just replay Tanner and his reaction? Oh, I was oh. really scared, dude. I was really I scared. definitely was a friend that was going to let it happen. Yeah, you just backed up. He was trying to help. Yeah, I was about to be like dumping in. Well, how's it feel? It's comfortable. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't to me. Just to make it even more bougie for you. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Check this out, guys. I would like... What's some special concoction? What is that? Why isn't it shaking? So it's hot. It's hot cocoa. <gasps> it's chocolate milk. Look at this. It's not hot, guys. In case you were curious. <laughs> it's definitely not hot. The glass is pretty cold. This is really weird. I mean, just because you can. I guess. You're glamping, buddy. This is kind of like the opposite of glamping. <laughs> it's super disorienting because usually it's hot cocoa with marshmallows. Okay, what problems do you see with it? Well, first off, it's disorienting that the chocolate. Okay, well, <laughs> besides this, the chair. How do you feel about the chair? Oh, the chair. Yeah, the problem that I have with it is like, why does it need to be suspended? Why can't it just be a chaise lounge that just like folds up? Suspension Here. generally feels oh, better. Watch this, hold my drink. I want to see if I can control myself. Oh, I can. You're going to kick that. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's oddly like... Peaceful. Yeah, it's very like peaceful. It's very like, oh, serene and like kind of like I'm in water. All right, I'll rate this a dope. Same. If you got room in your backyard and you want to put your backyard in it, do it. Before that next product, big shout out to Jess Brown for becoming a member of the Doper Nope family, baby. What she did was join the membership squad. You know what's up? There's three different tiers. You can get all different things like live streams, like extra little vlogs behind the scenes. Pretty fun stuff. So if you're interested, check it out by clicking that join button and you may like what you find. You will. And if you don't, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Our next product is a portable air conditioner. Cooler, portable. The quick and easy way to cool any space as seen on TV, suitable for bedside. Office, study room, and you know, all that other good stuff. What I like off the bat is it's an air purifier, which I think mm. is something very valuable to make sure that you guys don't get any of that nasty, cruddy air in there, you know, that you can be <laughs> getting from other people around you. It also has a humidifier, which I think is dope. This is just all around looking pretty good so far. I'm Overflow. confused. How can it humidify if it's an air conditioner? An air conditioner removes the moisture from the air. I can do both, brother. Don't ask questions you don't want the answers <laughs> to. Oh, it's tiny. That is oh, extremely tiny. small. So look at, they're using it for camping. Oh, come on. Oh, maybe in the tent? Yeah, like if it's super hot. But it's not insulated. Wet a paper towel and flap it in front of your face instead. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? Uh, this is the dumbest product ever. It basically consists of a fan with the force of a kitten breathing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, look at this one. What Why is, is there a picture of the man? Yeah. Looked much larger and didn't cool like I thought. Wouldn't have purchased this. And it's just a picture of him. It's just a picture of the man. <laughs> That's his reaction when he saw it in the mail. It showed yeah. up and it's like, it's POV. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and add it to list. Boom. The boxing is not too bad. It's blue. Oh, I'm slightly disappointed. Oh, it smells. Yay. Now, this is, oh, look. Just walks around. You can walk, yeah, like a boom box. This is the new age when like Armageddon is happening and it's just hot. Hey, baby, you looking hot. How about I cool you down? <laughs> okay, so we found a plug. Didn't come with a plug. What? There's no batteries. What? No, nothing. What? Yeah, this is just odd. Look, that, that one screw on Smell top rusted. It. Yeah, it smells like poison. It smells like a swamp cooler. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Swamp like, cooler. That you like haven't used in a while and you're starting it back up. That's the weakest fan I've ever seen. This is fully on? Yeah, I mean, I haven't put water in yet, so. Wow, you think that's going to actually do anything? <laughs> I think that the reviews don't lie, dude. So as you can see on this side, there's like, it shows you the fan and how fast it's gonna go. Oh, that's full right there. Oh. Not much of a difference, to be honest. This feels less powerful than me going, don't blow me. Actually, wait, which side is it supposed to come out on? I can't tell. It's your marshmallow breath. It feels just as intense on the other side where it's sucking in. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem. It really does. We gotta try this. Add some Coca-Cola to the mix. Think it'll smell like Coke? Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh. Yeah, it smells like Coca-Cola, huh? <laughs> Oh, oh dude, dude, sorry I spit, but I actually got cross-eyed after smelling that. All right, I'm gonna say that's a no. Bottle flip. Next product.
Oh! No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> I was like, there's no way. I was like, yo. <laughs> All right, we got Cosway mini portable washing machine for compact laundry, small semi automatic compact washer with timer control, single translucent tub, seven pounds capacity, blue and white colored. Okay, okay, okay. All okay. right, so we got a little, we got well, a little it's mini huge. Washer. Yeah, why does this one look small but ends up being really big while that other product looks really big and looks really small? It's only that's 60 not, bucks. That's not bad. No, not bad. I mean, depending on how efficient it is. If, if, yeah, if it's it just works. like a complete piece of garbage, then yeah, it's bad. Ugh, don't even pay it. What's the use case? It's not a dryer. What do you do? Hang out your clothes like a troglodyte? Well, what is, what uh, is a troglodyte? Right Someone who doesn't right? use They have an RV <laughs> camper. What if you're camping and then as you're camping, your clothes get dirty or something? Mustard saying hot dog. Yeah. Oh, no, I want hot dogs. <clears throat> hot dog just sound kind of good. My eye twitched when you said hot dogs. Look, it's still twitching, dude. Stop saying hot dog. Hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> the mustard just dripped onto your shirt. <laughs> now you gotta wash it. And you're like, oh, it's the only shirt I brought camping. Rookie move. And then you gotta go wash it. And then you just Rookie. hang it outside, you know? Right. Let's add this baby to cart and, and test it cart. out. All right, you guys do all the work. I'm just gonna take a nap here. He's just hanging around. I'll instruct. So first off, uh, connect the tubes. Wait, excuse me, excuse me, can you spin me? <gasps> no, but <laughs> he told me to connect the tubes. Sorry. That's the bottom tube, Tanner. <laughs> what does that one do? <laughs> you like, you were my child. You're like, no! I was like, I don't know that. Already got some clothes in there. We got two t-shirts. We're gonna close that baby up and then I'm gonna grab some laundry detergent. Yeah. Tide, not sponsored, don't eat their pods. Do you really plug this thing in? Yeah. No. What do you think? You're turning it like butter? How are you supposed to? Oh, you're, I guess you could plug it into your camper. Oh, it's like, yeah. yeah. This guy says that he can make Wi Fi there, but he'll be danged if he can actually produce power out of his camper. <laughs> Oh, too much! You clearly don't do your own laundry. I do, but I'm I have like little pods. I'm, I'm just <laughs> messing with you. Everyone gets defensive about their laundry, yeah. you know that? I don't like, do my own laundry. If you make fun of how somebody does laundry, you're like, no, 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 this is how anyone would do it. It's like, normally I just do a little bit of this and that, and they're like, this is my so wrong. My like your wife wrong. handles the laundry. God bless her. Whoa, look at that! Can I open it? Tanner, 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 push me closer. Okay. Oh, wow! Now, I'm curious if you can open it. I'm curious if it'll keep going. It will. Get a good look at that. Oh, yeah, get a look at that, Dave. Look at that! <laughs> Spinning with the boys right now. Why is this actually so cool? This? Oh, whoa, shut it, dude. Oh, you can only put it on off or wash. So you can either just turn spin on or off. Um, you know what I'm saying? Let that baby spin. How's it supposed to wash it if it doesn't spin? Um, it's supposed to wash it by not spinning, uh, by just... Uh... All right, let's see if it's washed. Clean. <laughs> First try. And then that's how you drain it, Look folks. at that, dude. Kind of like watering your plants, like. Well, thank you for washing my shirts, Tanner and Michael. You're welcome, good time. Now dry them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say that's a dope. Definitely a dope. What on earth? Is this a dentist sink? <laughs> it kind of looks like it. Serene Life portable camping sink. It is a camping, oh my gosh. It's what? an actual camping sink. It's for camping. Are you okay? Are you, Why are you <laughs> having indigestion? <laughs> Why do we need... <laughs> He's like over here going. <laughs> He said dentist sink and that really got me going. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, rolling wheels, perfect for outdoor events, gatherings, work site, and camping. Okay, that's cool. That makes sense. You got like a work event, you're outside, you're like doing like construction, and you're like, I don't want to go inside to wash my hands. What am I going to do? I got mud on my hands, I got mud on my boots. What am I supposed to do? Uh -huh. Take my, my pants off? <laughs> I don't recommend doing Take that. Take my boots off. <laughs> Look at how many features this has. Wow. Liquid soap dispenser, tissue holder, that's toilet paper. Foot pump, built carry and handle. Dude, that's wow. a capacity oh, of 3.0 liters. Right? This is pretty cool. Add to cart. All right. Okay. So how does this work, Michael? All right, so this little guy right there, yeah, that's the foot pump, which will start to bring the water up. It brings it out of this or brings it out of this? No, so in the base here, it's already filled with water. So oh, that's the drain. Yeah, this is the drainage. Oh, dude. I hate that. And then go ahead and put your hands there. You don't want to take your ring off? You take your ring off before you wash your hands? I yeah, never take my ring off. Because it gets soapy oh, too much, dude. Off. Too much. You got oh. it. You got it. You're, you're doing great. Oh, wow. <laughs> really just sat out. Oh, that's so cold. I need consistent water. No, I just drooled on my jacket, dude. <laughs> Oh, oh. This is just weird to watch, <laughs> man. I'm having trouble like doing it softly. There you go. It, there's a real art to it. Like mm. you have to really kind of like, like go ease there. Your foot down. Yeah, ease your foot and then lean into it. And then you can like really make it happen. All right, your turn. Oh, it's so cold. Well, you're just like stepping on it. You gotta remember ease your foot down. Oh, it's like puking on my hand. I kind of hate this. The faucet isn't just right. <laughs> <laughs> this is, isn't very glamping to me. <laughs> this guy starts collecting followers. Now he's like, dude, the faucet has to be right. <laughs> okay. How long are you gonna take to yeah, wash your I'm hands? It's pooping every, look, do you want something doing that to your hands? All right. All right. I'm gonna say that's a dope. That's the biggest nope I've ever seen in my life. I think it's a dope. <laughs> it's a nope. Thank you very much for joining us for this wild adventure. If you enjoyed it, uh, let us know what part you enjoyed best. If you enjoyed it with a friend, who you watched it with, we wanna know that kind of stuff because we're weird. All right, this video <laughs> over here is 10 ways 
ways that you can get back at your frenemies. It's pretty crazy. Some revenge stories That's indeed. True. Now, this video over here is a video that YouTube thinks you specifically will enjoy. So click one of those. Don't click away. Just one of those is your only choice and move on. Peace.